Today we'll be talking about using handler defenders to stop upfield throws. By diving into the lane, they can prevent disc movement down the field and force the disc to go sideways. This is important, especially against horizontal stack offenses, because the downfield throws are the most dangerous and the other team is focusing on the middle of the field. We can use extra defenders to clog the middle of the field. The goal is to prevent direct upfield passes, both on the initial move and after the disc has moved back to the handler. So we need to be able to both stop the middle of the field and then recover and stop the next throw. We'll do this by bringing the handler defender so far into the lane that the thrower is forced to go outside of them. Then we'll take those handler defenders and recover them back quickly and going to a point where they can stop the next throw. We're working on handler defenders here, and Tyler's in a position that we too often take. If Martin wants to throw into the middle of the field, Tyler isn't taking that away, and he's also not taking away the other handler. If we want Tyler to take away this position, we want him to dive, dive, dive into that spot where now there's no window to Valentin. If the throw goes over to Will, go ahead and throw it. Tyler's gonna get back as quickly as he can, taking a line to take away some of the upfield. Let's try that live from Martin. Go ahead and try to make a cut. We'll see if Tyler can cut it off. Ready? In three, two, one, go. Good, Tyler's gonna shut off that lane. Now he's gonna hustle back and freeze it. Good. Even though Valentin made a good cut, Tyler's back quickly enough and coming in at a straight up angle so that Will can't throw straight down the field unmarked. Excellent, let's try it again. Ready? In three, two, one. One, diving in the lane, Tyler's getting there, good. And he's working his way back and attacking, no middle of the field, good. In three, two, one, go, good. Idaho's mark is flustering it. Tyler's anticipating, getting back, shutting down the middle of the field, excellent. And freeze it there. Nicely done, defense. Out of a vertical stack, the fundamentals remain the same. Will is lined up at a 45 degree angle and there's still an open lane here that we need to stop. So Tyler's gonna drop into that lane hard. He's gonna dive in, limiting Martin's options. If that pushes the disc back to Martin, go ahead and throw it. Tyler's gonna head back, trying to sneak a look and take away that part of the field. Good, let's try that from the top. Three, two, one, good. Rest of the stack, we're watching. Tyler's diving in and getting back. Good, and freeze it right there. Good, now, Ravi was able to get open, but because Tyler was playing in this lane, instead of giving up a 20 yard throw and good position, we gave up a two yard throw and no position. Nicely done. There are also occasions where we can dive off on the break side of the field. In this case, Tyler's gonna dive and communicate to Idaho that he's got that space covered, Idaho can flatten up, and now we have more of the field covered. We'll start with a cut from the back. Idaho is flattening up because as Tyler dies, push the disc over, and now Idaho can do the same thing and push the disc back and freeze it right there. Good, even though Robbie's getting open on the break side, we had two quick dives and we're able to push the disc net backwards, which is a benefit for our defense. Nicely done. Here we have a breakside cut from the front of the stack as we tap it in. Tyler jumps in, now Idaho dives in, and they're both far enough that they can stop the play. Good, nice recovery marks, and we're able to keep the disc moving backwards even after a couple of successful swings. We'll know that we're doing this right if we can prevent throws from going between the mark and the handler defender. We'll also know that we're doing this right if the disc is moving to the side handlers and then we're stopping early hucks.
fifth season of Rise Up is brought to you by Five Ultimate.